There have been some major changes to the Kittle platform. So if you use Kittle, you're planning to use Kittle, or you need to be convinced to use Kittle, this video is gonna help you out. And at the end, I'm gonna be sharing the biggest change I've seen Kittle implement in a very long time, one that has me really excited. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I'm currently sick, so I'm sorry for my very stuffy voice. So here's a Kittle design that I've been working on. I'm focusing on the Kaket. Christmas, P.S. I got the bow file from Creative Fabrica. They have tons of different coquette style designs. And if you don't have Creative Fabrica yet, I do have a link in my description so you can get 10 free downloads. But the first new button added is the button called replace. So if you actually have an element selected, so I'm gonna select my bow here. And then if you hover over any element, either in your uploads or in some of the elements that Kittle provides you, you're gonna see this new button that says replace. And if you click that, then now that object is going to take up the space that that previous element had. So instead of having to bring in each file, resize it to try to test which types of designer elements look best in your design, now you can just easily do this with a click of a button. The next new tool has to do with their eye and it's called image gen style. So what this does is, for example, we have our image here and I have this bow, but I actually want to change this design. I don't want it to be a Christmas design anymore. I want to make a Halloween. And now if I go on over to to their AI image generator. If I scroll down, I have this bow as a saved style. So if I want to make something similar, I'm gonna type in the new type of prompt. So I want a spooky Halloween bow. I'm gonna make sure I want it in this style and then I'm gonna hit generate. And now this is what it gave to me. It tried to follow the same type of styling. So it gave me a vector image, the white background. It still was trying to include the stripes here and the sizing is about the same too. Rerolling the AI, here's another version that I got. Again, very similar, but now this is more Halloween themed. And I can still change the colors as well. I just have to image vectorize by going over to here. I'm going to turn this into a vector image. I'm going to increase the sizing. I'm going to hit vectorize image. Now it has given me all of the illustration colors that are in this, and I can start switching all the reds to say orange if I wanted this to be a more orange design. I'm just going to go through this. This depends on just how complicated your design is. There we go. It's already looking more orange. And then once you're happy with that, now you have a similar design, but for another niche or another occasion in this example. And to show you what this would look like if I didn't use this image gen style. So say again, I asked for spooky Halloween, but I'm no longer giving it the reference image. This is the type of thing I would get. And that's not exactly what I was looking for. I'm not really gonna be able to use this in my design versus again, using the image gen style. We're modeling it after the previous element that was in there, which really helps with your AI prompts. The next new tool is the AI design generator. What we were previously using was the AI image generator, which is better for elements. And then there also used to be the logo creator, which is very similar, but they've changed the wording. It seems to now be more focused to helping you create a unified big design. So coming on over to the design generator, I typed in a Christmas coquette t-shirt design. And here are some of the things that we got. Not exactly what I would use, but you can play around with these. It might not know what coquette even means right now, but again, it creates a full design here. And if I'm going to select one of these, I'm going to add to current. Now I have all of these little pieces that are all separate elements that can be edited by themselves without changing the whole design. And you can really get creative with your prompts here. I asked it for a t-shirt design that says Christmas season, and it didn't exactly say Christmas season, so that didn't work out so much, but it more created me some Christmas designs. And again, if you add these, they are not set in stone. You can change the fonts in here. You can change the colors and really just use these maybe as templates to help you create some t-shirt designs, apparel designs, or whatever type of designs you're creating. The next one has been live for a little bit, but I haven't pointed out in any videos. And I'm gonna quickly just go over that. And that is the new branding tool. So if you take a look here, we have brand kits. If you use Canva, you're probably used to these now. These were also announced in Canva not too long ago. But what you can do is if you have a certain style that all of your designs or some of your designs follow, like maybe you have certain brand fonts, certain brand colors, you can save them to your brand kit so that they're easily accessible every time you need to use them. So if I have certain brand fonts, certain brand colors that I always use, I don't need to have them written down somewhere else and go grab them all the time. I can just use my brand kit, just save these here. You 
can add as many textiles as you'd like, as many color styles, shadow styles, text shading, decoration, photo filter, so that you have unified branding across all of the elements that you need this for. The next one might sound simple, but this is one that I've been dying for. This is something I've been waiting for. I knew that they'd eventually have to implement it, and that is the eraser tool. This works for AI images that you created in Kittle. So if there's a part of the image that you don't like, you can just erase it, which happens quite a bit for me. Or if you bring in an element and you want to erase part of it, all you have to do is click on the element and you're going to see this little eraser tool. And then you can change the size, you can make it smaller, and then say I want to just cut off this little piece there we go and now that's no longer part of my design the next update that I noticed and perhaps I just missed this because I don't use these tools very often but that is the image editor. So I have my bow selected. Coming down, you're going to see photo filters. And we have things like remove color, which weren't there before. We had some of these, but I don't recall there being all of these options there earlier. Now we have blur, noise, pixelate. So if I wanted to make a more pixelated version of this, I can. If I wanted to blur it a little bit, if I wanted to change the contrast. So these ones were here before, but just some new options down here in the photo filters if you want to change some of your images and you can even save them as a brand style again if you want to apply this across multiple different photos then saving it as a brand style would be really helpful all right and now we're going to be going into the biggest change that has happened in the kittle platform and that is the kittle co-pilot so if you have something selected and you hover over it you're going to see this little star and if you hover over it you're going to see it called kittle co-pilot we're going to click on this and what we're able to do is number one they give us some similar styles so if we wanted to replace this image it's automatically picking other similar items up that we can select we are also able to erase but the best thing that we can do is we can just type to kittle what we want done to this they are currently limited on things that you can do with elements but i find it extremely helpful for text so if you have text and you use the copilot you're going to see things like change to change color to change opacity change border color change font size, change the line height, change to uppercase, generate text. So maybe I want to change the border color to green. They're going to give me a green. I'm okay with that. And now you can see that the border of this text, which was previously red, has changed to green. And probably my favorite part about this copilot is the generate text. So if I want to create a text idea, this really works for slogans. There was a quote generator previously on Kittle, but you had to leave your page to get to it versus now it's built in and they've changed it a little bit as well. So if I want to make it something christmas E, and I want this to be let's say let's make it fun and let's generate text and see what we get now you can see that we have a few different options down here so we have jingle bells holly jolly merry times so maybe i want to just change this to merry times and now it's applied all of my text effects and change this to fit into my design maybe i want to completely rewrite a sentence so i want to change a longer text that i had to something thanksgiving themed i've asked it to write a funny thanksgiving joke and we have things like why did the turkey join a band because it had the drumsticks why what do you call a running turkey fast food and you can just switch up your prompts and it will make match the length of the original text that you selected. So if you had a one word text selected, it's probably just gonna give you one or two word responses because it tries to fit this new quote into the previous template that you had. I can do things like select this, right click, launch copilot or select the button above. And I'm going to align to center of the page because right now this is very off center and now this has been centered and I know it's actually centered instead of just eyeballing it. All right guys, those are all the updates I had for you. And if you want to use Kittle or get Kittle Pro in the description in my bio, you can get 25% off the plans. Thank you guys so much for listening and let me know if there's anything new you learned from this video. Thanks guys and I'll see you next week.